Hello, Cancer. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys do well. So this is your uh, general re general love read for uh, June. The book. I hope we're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading. See what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself, and of course, vice versa as well. Guys, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is time stamped. So if you click in the uh, description bar below. See where it says start reading, click on them, and that will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on a uh, camp. Okay, as I always say, please just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Oh, and if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up. Uh, on your story, stick around and sometimes, you know, sometimes there could be just messages for us that jump out and speak to you. And uh, of course, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go, because ultimately we, we create our reality. So give me a moment to just lay these or take these in, guys. You might see extra cards just for clarification purposes, but I'm um, just going to take these in and I'll be back. So Cancer, let's start your reading and of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as uh, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. And of course, you know, feel free to check out your other readings uh, for the month, which should be pinned in the corner as I speak. All right. So this is a, a situation where this person, whoever this is showing up in your reading Cancer, have done something that's kind of hurt you which is um, represented by that three of swords. There's been something that this person has done that's created this three of swords for you, this hurt, this injust as well. You feel like justice, yeah, there's been some injust uh, with, 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 with you in this, in this situation, which is kind of making you feel like you want to turn your back on them emotionally though, but that within itself is, you know, really stressful for you. You're hurt. You're hurt. This person has done something that's hurt you, that's caused a lot of stress with that nine of swords. For some of you sleepless nights as well, just constantly just thinking about, you know, what has gone on, the imp of, of uh, whatever it is that they've done. And they're trying to make it right, ultimately, with that king. Trying to consciously figure out how to bring this back into alignment with the temperance card there. It seems like they've gotten some form of higher wisdom or knowledge with that high priestess there. So they're wanting to try and figure out how to bring this back into alignment. So they're taking moves, making moves, taking action, whatever it is that they're trying to do. As as well as there's a lot of love here as well. I feel like this person is someone that you've known for a while. Because there is that meaningful card there, that six, six of cups, which talks about meaningful um, relationship on top of that ace. So there's definitely love there. See this as a meaningful relationship. But right now, this is interesting because right now it seems like something outside of this connection is causing you to start feeling kind of good about yourself. I'm not sure whether that's another person that's giving you attention or this is someone that is, you know, has been working themselves going to the gym, leveling up. You're just kind of feeling good. There's something that's you're engaging in that's making you feel really good. Uh, as in adding some form of positivity into your life, therefore having an effect on how you kind of feel. You're not sharing it with this person though. Keeping that hidden. Keeping that hidden. I'm not sure how that benefits this situation simply because I feel like this is really, it, it's giving me a sense of you know, when you start to get carried away in one direction, not to say it's a bad thing, but it seems like you've kind of gotten carried away in this, whatever this is. And it's giving you a sense, you know, of, of freedom, newness, adventure, very emotionally fulfilling for you. But again, it's kind of taking you away from this relationship in some way, shape or form, because it feels good. It feels good. And with the Empress on top of that, I'm like, mm. You know, 
how much far down the road are you going to go? So for example, if this is someone else that's giving you some form of attention, it's making you feel good. You know, how, 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 how far down the road are you going to continue to go with this person to the point of starting to actually build something or create something? I don't feel like that was your intention to start with, whatever this is, whatever, whatever there is that you're engaging in here that's causing that. Where with your person, your person is showing up as the ace. So this talks about, you know, seeing this as an opportunity to, to create something new. This person is really trying to get this back into alignment and that's their focus ultimately. Wanting to move ahead, focusing on move ahead. They're not wanting to, how do I put that? They're, they're not wanting to see the writing on the wall. It's like they're not wanting to face the fact that you could be, maybe I'm going to pull on that as well, just one card, put, maybe engaging in something that is, let me just see, because there is this something that they're not wanting to face. So I want to pull on that. Regardless of them, you know, pushing forward. We've got the queen of, um, nah, that's just kind of canceling out. We've got the high priestess, yeah. There's something that this person is not wanting to face, but they're not wanting to pay attention to that. They're wanting to continue to focus on what they've already built with you because there is this insight that they have, some form of insight. Maybe that's a strong spiritual connection that they have with you. We've got the High Priestess card there. It usually talks about, you know, telepathic communication, insight, impression, thought impressions, that type of thing. Some of them are definitely not wanting to face, though. They do have this sense of disappointment, which they're kind of seeking answers with the Hermit card there. There's a sense of disappointment that this person has. They're seeking answers, asking themselves those important questions. How do I get this back into alignment? How do I get this back into a place where this person trusts me? I trust them. We're connected. We're, we're in alignment, ultimately. I'm not sure how much this person knows about what you're engaging in, though. But this thing that you're engaging in is feeling rather, rather sweet. I say I'm concerned simply because of the message, the energy or call, love oracle message, which is give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. So whatever happened is something that you can actually work through. Hence why I said, I don't want you to go too far down this road. Now, it's all good. And let me explain myself because it's all good feeling good about yourself. It's, all, it's always good to engage in things that are beneficial for your soul and beneficial for your spirit. It makes you feel good. However, I don't want you to use that. How do I put that? You use that as a, an escape mechanism to escape from something that can potentially be really, really good. You know, you don't want to have to, because ultimately relationships go through challenges. Um, and of course there's degrees of those challenges. You don't want to be disrespected. You don't want to, you know, be cheated on and that type of thing there. But again, we're going back to the message, work on your partnership, give your relationship a chance, which says that whatever it is that happened, either there has been some form of I'm not sure whether you guys have communicated yet. You know, we know that this person is trying to get this back into alignment, but how much of a chance have you given them? I don't see any communication here um, or any sense of communication there. And even if there has been some form of communication, I feel like, yeah, I feel like you need to give this, this relationship a chance. You know, still, if, if this is, you know, self-improvement, then of course continue on that. But ultimately, you do want no man's an island. And you want to, you know, not miss an opportunity with this person because you've just given in, throw, given in the, what's it? You've thrown in the towel. There you go. Thrown in the towel. Yeah. So usually at this point, we kind of move into part two. Or we get an idea of see where this moves to, which I will be implementing next week, guys. So look out for that. As it stands, for those of you who are interested, as it stands, yeah. You know, hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as they say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day and I shall see you next week.